Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your very own jean mask. So let's get right into it. So I first already have my pattern pieces that I've cut out, just a piece of muslin. And there's a left side and a right side, as you can see here. First thing you want to do is to lay it on your jeans fabric. I have some jeans fabric that I got from Nick of Times. Uh, textiles or nickoftimes.com. I love, love their stuff. Definitely recommend to check them out. I'll link the their website below. And back to our tutorial here is to take your pattern piece and lay it across the stretch of the grain. So you basically you want to make sure that the stretch is going um, to fit along the width of your face. So again, just making sure that pattern piece is laying um, to allow the stretch to go across the mask or across your face to allow for ample stretch um, in along the width-wise direction of your face. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out that first pattern piece, as you can see here. I'm just going to add a little bit of remaining material to ensure that I have room to make adjustments as needed. Go ahead and cut out your mask using your pattern piece as the base. And then go ahead and remove any excess material from around that pattern piece. Of course, I'll leave just a little bit on the edge um, to allow for taking up or removing some extra material later on. And here you can just see how that pattern piece will fit together. The very next thing that you want to do is get your lining. I'm just using a black um, suiting material. Um, so I'm using that for my lining piece. The jeans material can be a little bit uncomfortable against your face. So I recommend using the lining most definitely. Okay, so once again here, I'm just cutting it out the pattern piece with the stretch. Um, moving along the width of the pattern piece basically to allow for ample stretch of the mask across your face and you'll notice here that i cut all of these pieces on a fold And so here I'm just ironing. I really recommend ironing along as you go. I really used to hate doing this, but I think it makes for a better finish and better quality um, of any clothes or um, you know items that you sew. It just leaves a lot cleaner of a finish um, and reduces the bulk of, um, on seam lines. Okay, so next I'll just sew down that center front um, with on the jeans material and on my pattern sorry my lining piece as well so just a single straight stitch I think I use a 2.5 millimeter straight stitch um, on my brother's sewing machine here just sewing that lining straight across and of course removing any excess material and thread
Okay, so next I'm doing the very same thing, sewing across that center front seam line. Um, basically, you're just sewing the two pattern pieces together, or, this, or the two pieces left and right side of the jeans mask um, on the curved edge on the front, sewing those together, um, right sides together, of course, on my industrial sewing machine here, because I, I just find that it makes for an easier time to sew with a thicker material. And of course, I have my computer here just to enjoy some music while I'm doing so. Okay, so now I am taking my lining piece that has been sewn together and my jeans material piece that has been sewn together and I'm just laying them on top of each other. Um, so next I'll go ahead and iron these pieces down again to reduce any bulking within the seam lines. So repeat the same thing for the jeans portion of the, your mask. So again, I'm laying them on top of one another, and then I go ahead and sew one side of that, of these two pieces together. So from here, I'm just smoothing down and ironing out that seam line to leave for a very clean finish. And you always want to make sure to remove any, um, you know, extra fabric or, um, you know, things in the seam line that are bulky. And here I'm just adding some pins just for an extra security before I start to sew along that bottom edge. Essentially this is the top stitch, so you'll go ahead and sew along 
a bottom edge that you just pinned under. And from here, then you'll just roll um, your the left and right edges of your mask. So I just use my overlock um, serger here just to finish off that edge for a nice clean finish. And you'll do the same thing for the other side that you um, rolled under. And then out here, I'm just cutting off the remaining uh, pieces of serger thread. Of course, I know there's a better way to generally, you know, leave for a secure edge using a serger stitch, um, but I was just being lazy here. Um, it's recommended that you use a needle to kind of go back along the seam edge to tie off instead of cutting that serger thread, but the option is yours. So again, I'm going to fold over one more time to basically make um, the point at which the elastic will actually sit inside. You're basically leaving a tucked corner so that your elastic will fit nicely along that edge. This will basically function as the side piece um, of your mask and hold your elastic in um, to tuck over your ears. So here I have my elastic that I measured out. Of course, you can choose um, you will have to measure and kind of play around with what feels most comfortable to you because some people don't like their mask super tight but I wanted mine secure and kind of more of a couture look I think this mask is um, very clean and finished so and as tucked into my face as possible so again the choice is yours um, just make your elastic long enough so that it your mask is comfortable when you wear it. So here I'm just taking a pin and I'm just using, or I'm taking a pin, tying it to the end of the elastic and then running that elastic um, through my mask, um, basically fit and I'm adjusting that elastic to where I want it to fit. I'm cutting that and then I'll sew those, those two ends together. Um, Actually, I'm sorry, I lied. Um, I actually did not sew the edges together. Now you can feel free to do that if you so choose, but I actually just tied it because again, I'm taking a shortcut, but the, again, the choice is yours. You can definitely sew that, those two ends together if you so choose. And so here's basically the finished product. So you have a mask and I'll show it um, how, how the finished product looks when you wear it on. And just a couple of photos there. Um, so I think it's a pretty good mask. It's pretty secure. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. All right. See you in the next one.